I know so much on how you got where you are. How you stepped on the many people. You meaning record company guys sit around and tell the artists, this is hot, say that. Things in the hip hop and Hollywood industries are heating up. So let's go into this hot issue. Even if you believed you understood the players, the rules, and every move, it turns out that a lot was going on behind the scenes that is just now becoming apparent. Everyone wants to know the truth about Jay-Z, Beyonce, and their long-standing relationship with Diddy. The entertainment industry has recently turned its attention to the Cape Verde Islands, and as everyone is aware, Diddy has just been the target of some very severe allegations. The business has been rocked by his arrest, but what if it's not just him? What if some of the greatest names in music, like Jay-Z and Beyonce, had deeper ties? It's difficult to ignore the possibility that the pair has been covering for Diddy by keeping his secrets hidden while guarding their own. Ice Cube is the one revealing the truth about this circumstance. He has expressed his distaste for the exclusive group. Let's look at how one of the most well-liked hip-hop artists, Ice Cube, has avoided the unscrupulous activities in Hollywood and the music business. Throughout his many years, Cube has seen and heard a lot, but he has always avoided becoming involved in the chaos. But as Diddy's world falls apart, Ice Cube has come out to divulge information that he has known for a long time, including startling details regarding the relationships that Diddy, Jay-Z, and Beyonce have. I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that everyone has to deal with. We must first consider Diddy's arrest and its significance in order to fully comprehend this. It's not just about one man's demise. His arrest represents the disintegration of a long-standing structure in which influence and power control the game. Hip-hop, which formerly revolved on traditional masculinity, prosperity, skill, and leaving a legacy, has been soiled by disclosures of vice and exploitation. Money has made it possible for individuals to get away with nearly anything. Diddy seems to be the first domino to fall as the empire appears to be crumbling. As Diddy's predicament develops, concerns are being raised about Jay-Z and Beyonce, two people who have supported him for years, and conditions at NDC have been characterized as the worst they've ever been. They have long been seen as belonging to the same circle as they are two of the most influential people in the business. Many people are wondering whether Jay-Z and Bianca covered up Diddy's wrongdoings in order to preserve not just their buddy, but also their own reputations in light of all the charges Diddy is facing. Since the entertainment business is built on relationships, it's just a matter of time before other influential people are also involved when one prominent person falls. This is where Ice Cube's observations are useful. He's never belonged to the exclusive inner circle that runs things behind the scenes since he's an independent artist. He has maintained his distance, but he has also been observing and has seen things that the rest of us have never been aware of. Now he started to speak out, taking out not only Diddy, but also Jay-Z and Beyonce. Ice Cube is a professional who has been in the field long enough to know the reality, not simply someone who makes crazy claims. Since Jay-Z and Diddy have a long history together, let's go back in time and look at their connection. Their connection begins to take on a darker tone as more information becomes available although at the beginning it appeared like they were simply friends and business colleagues. Diddy and Jay-Z have been cited together at several industry events over the years, and their friendship was seen as a show of respect between two of the biggest names in hip-hop. But today, there are some very important issues about that link. Did they have a deeper relationship than simply friendship? How come the government doesn't? Let's go back to the days when Jay-Z was still ascending to the top. We must talk about his feud with 50 Cent, which dates back to the late 1990s. 
this was not your average friendly competition. This was a contest to see who would become the next king of New York. Tensions were rising, threats were made, and diss tracks were flying back and forth. But when 50 Cent and Jay-Z worked together to remix I Get Money, featuring both Jay-Z and Diddy, something strange occurred. There were allegations that during the creation of that tune, 50 found some unsettling realities about both Diddy and Jay-Z, which finally forced him to take a step back. Jay-Z's ascent to prominence isn't only due to his skill and savvy in business. Although Jay-Z's extraordinary success has undoubtedly been facilitated by his musical brilliance and business acumen, the entertainment industry is known for its ruthlessness, and his life story has been beset by rumors and accusations that provide a more nuanced picture. Many tales have surfaced throughout the years about Jay-Z's manipulation of younger women. Rapper Foxy Brown was in one of the most early and contentious relationships of the subject. Foxy was just a teenager when Jay-Z started working with her, and rumors started to circulate that their connection extended beyond simply their business partnerships. According to certain allegations, Jay-Z acted inappropriately and even bought Foxy off to conceal their relationship. When Jay-Z's former business partner, Dame Dash, alluded to his dubious decisions made during their time together at Rockefeller Records, these allegations gathered traction. Dame Dash and Jay-Z had an unbreakable relationship for years while building Rockefeller Records from the bottom up. Tensions, however, increased as their commercial interests started to diverge. Dame said that Jay-Z's progressively dishonest actions, such as reportedly controlling those around him for his own benefit, were a contributing factor in their falling out. Jay-Z's personal and business connections may not have always been as open and innocent as they seem to the public, according to Dame's claims. Jay-Z's friendship with the late singer Aaliyah was another noteworthy incident that caused some controversy. Aaliyah was allegedly engaged with Jay-Z, who was in his late 30s, when she was only 15 years old. The sheer fact that these stories even exist tells much about the potentially exploitative aspects of Jay-Z's early interactions with younger women in the business, even if he has denied any unethical behavior. The multifaceted identity Jay-Z has developed over the years gains more depth with these accusations. In addition, Jay-Z's relationships with different women seem to follow a pattern of control and manipulation as he rose through the music business. His union with Bianca has often been examined via the prism of public opinion and how their relationship is portrayed in the media. While many see them as a power couple, Others highlight the lingering effects of Jay-Z's previous infidelity, which included a well-reported cheating scandal. These allegations have significant ramifications as they point to a recurrent issue of power dynamics in Jay-Z's relationships, raising moral concerns about his persona. Jay-Z's business practices, as well as his personal connections have been questioned. His rise in the music sector matched his aptitude at negotiating tricky commercial environments. Although his skill clearly helped, some opponents contend that Jay-Z has used dubious methods to establish his authority. There have been rumors circulating that he used his connections and power to intimidate rival businesses, demonstrating a readiness to engage in unscrupulous commercial activities, such as swaying alliances and taking advantage of personal connections for tactical gain. One significant event was the founding of Rock Nation, his entertainment business, which is now much more than just a music label. In addition to music management, sports representation, fashion, and charity were all part of Jay-Z's plan for Rock Nation. But as Rock Nation expanded, the public's criticism of its operations also rose. According to several former colleagues, Jay-Z routinely put his own interests ahead of those of his partners, which led to an atmosphere where ambition frequently took precedence over loyalty. 
There have also been concerns about the pressure he supposedly put on industry gatherings. Although it is well known that Jay-Z has a significant amount of influence over music festivals and award presentations, there are rumors that he has sometimes exploited this influence to achieve his personal goals by making sure that his projects and musicians were highlighted at the expense of others. Many find Jay-Z's degree of control unnerving because it exposes a brutal side to him, particularly in an industry where rivalry is already fierce. Furthermore, there has been criticism surrounding Jay-Z's political ventures. It is admirable that he is involved in so many social justice groups, especially those that focus on reforming the criminal justice system. However, some detractors contend that he has used these causes to enhance his public persona, casting doubt on the sincerity of his involvement. Is his dedication to social justice sincere, or is it only a calculated move to enhance his public image? Jay-Z is still seen with both suspicion and adoration as he develops more. Although there is no denying the importance of his contributions to music and society, it is impossible to overlook the darker aspects of his ascent to prominence. Jay-Z's career has been distinguished by dubious business methods and complex relationships with women. His path serves as a reminder that in the entertainment industry, it may be difficult to distinguish between skill and deception. Dane Dash has been outspoken in his criticism of Jay-Z, particularly in relation to Jay's reluctance to sever relations with R. Kelly after the revelation of the latter's inappropriate conduct. Although many had anticipated that Jay-Z would distance himself from the disgraced musician, he went above and above, working with Kelly on their collaborative album, The Best of Both Worlds. Dame Dash, who was dating Aaliyah at the time and had personally seen the harm Kelly had caused on her, was not happy with this choice. Jay's decision to keep working with Kelly infuriated Dame, and it was a major contributing cause in their breakup. It's interesting to note that Beyonce and Aaliyah were having trouble with their individual careers at this same period. It's difficult to overlook the similarities between Jay-Z's actions and Diddy's treatment of women. One of the best examples is Diddy's relationship with Cassie. He began courting her at the age of 19, promising her the world. But in the end, he ruined her career and meddled in her personal affairs. This tendency is also evident in Jay-Z's purported connection with Foxy Brown and his attraction to Aaliyah. Jay-Z allegedly pursued Aaliyah assiduously, even sending her flowers and asking her to his private parties, because she was young, gifted, and attractive. But in contrast to Foxy and Cassie, Aaliyah often rejected Jay's overtures, which adds even more complexity to the complex dynamics in these relationships. Her untimely death in an aircraft accident in 2001 rocked the music industry as a whole. But since her death, there have been allegations circulating over whether or not her death was indeed an accident. Some have speculated that influential people in the business, such as R. Kelly and Diddy, could have had anything to do with her premature passing. These beliefs claim that Aaliyah was drugged before to being put on the aircraft because she refused to board it. These disturbing allegations highlight the murkier aspects of the music business and the conspiracies that often surface after sad incidents. Jay-Z moved on to someone else after Aaliyah turned down his advances, Beyonce. Jay-Z originally expressed interest in Beyonce when she was young, much as he did with Aaliyah, Foxy, and Cassie. Jay-Z even acknowledged in an interview with Charlie Rose that he first dated Beyonce when she was 16, but he didn't pursue a serious relationship with her until she was 18. Some, like Ron, Bianca's uncle who used to be a guard at BYU, think there's more to this tale. These revelations raise issues about the nature of their relationship and the effects of their age difference by hinting at a complicated story behind their relationship. This accusation presents a concerning image 
implying that influential men often use their position of authority to dominate and manipulate younger women in the entertainment sector. This story is consistent with Cassie's allegations against Diddy, who she alleges gave her access to drugs that controlled her life and encouraged reliance. Stories like this give rise to grave worries about the secret dynamics that take place in Hollywood's closed doors. Uncle Ron makes one of the most startling assertions, claiming that Beyonce was responsible for Carrie Hilson's career ending. In case you forgot, Carrie was a promising performer whose career seemed to come to a standstill after her remarks on Bianca. Uncle Ron claims that Bianca took the remarks seriously and that she used her connections and influence to put Carrie on a blacklist in the business, thus ending her career before it had ever started. Although it's hard to imagine someone as strong as Beyonce using such techniques, anything is possible in the ruthless world of Hollywood. Uncle Ron said that Beyonce and Jay-Z are willing to remove any challenger to their dominance, claiming that they had trampled over several individuals to get to where they are now. After talking about Jay-Z's dubious activities and the startling allegations made by Dame Dash, Uncle Ron, and Ice Cube, the situation becomes much more dire when we include Kathy White. Kathy and Jay-Z, who were allegedly dating in the early 2010s, had a connection that went well beyond a casual fling and had very significant repercussions. Though she may not have been a frequent presence in the media, Claudia Jordan of the Real Housewives of Atlanta rose to prominence when reports of her intimate relationship with Jay-Z surfaced. It was rumored that she was expecting his kid, which might have caused a great deal of upheaval since Jay-Z was then married to Beyonce. They had developed a perfect public image as a power couple, and any damage to that might have deadly consequences. Sadly, a brain aneurysm was listed as the official reason of Kathy's death. But in show business, particularly when big names are involved, these kinds of things often spark rumors and conspiracies. In Kathy's case, the rumors did not peacefully fade. Instead, they became more intense. A lot of people questioned if her death was indeed an accident. Some speculated that it may have been a cover-up because of strange circumstances. According to insiders, Kathy had spoken with Jay-Z just before to her terrible demise. According to reports, she demanded a large payment to stay quiet about their romance and her pregnancy, threatening to reveal their connection. This information may have destroyed Jay-Z's carefully cultivated image as Beyonce's loving spouse, placing tremendous pressure on him and perhaps necessitating extreme action. Conspiracy theories and speculations about Kathy's death and its consequences for Jay-Z's image are still prevalent in the entertainment industry. Frightening, Jaguar Wright has exposed the darker sides of Jay-Z's conduct by often highlighting her experiences in the business. She claims that he used deceptive strategies and immoral behavior that goes much beyond the normal difficulties faced by the music industry. She claims that Jay-Z's readiness to use his connections and influence to crush opposition or crush rivalry exposes a darker aspect to his enterprise. Her accounts provide an image of an artist who has tightened his hold on his brand while controlling tales and relationships. She contends that Jay-Z's glossy public persona often conceals a more darker, exploitative, and betrayed reality. The charges made by Jaguar and others add to an unpleasant narrative around Jay-Z, implying that his climb to the top wasn't only a consequence of genius and hard work, but also a result of dubious ethics and harsh actions. Furthermore, the timing of some events, such as Beyonce's pregnancy and Kathy's demise, only intensifies the suspicion of a plot. There are grave moral concerns regarding the extent people in positions of authority will go to maintain their standing raised by the theory that Kathy White could have been silenced in order to preserve Jay-Z's reputation. 
the disturbing reminder that the entertainment business, which is sometimes glamorized, can be a ruthless place where personal and professional connections may entwine dangerously, is provided by the ongoing revelations about Jay-Z's alleged conduct. The story becomes even more complicated when we include the event where Solange Knowles lunched at Jay-Z. It raises questions on the dynamics and tension that exist inside the Carter household. These incidents show that there are often unsolved problems and conflicts behind the surface of fame and money, which may result in explosive situations. The claims made by Jaguar Wright and other people, along with the narrative of Kathy White, cast a lengthy shadow over Jay-Z's reputation and raised the possibility that not all paths to success in the entertainment business are honorable. According to Jaguar Wright, Jay-Z may have ties to some of the less respectable areas of the hip-hop community, especially in relation to the untimely death of rapper Big L. When Big L, whose true name was Lamont Coleman, was killed in 1999, he was already becoming well-known in the late 1990s. There is a lot of conjecture on the circumstances of his death since his case is still unresolved. Wright has hypothesized that Big L's death could not have been an isolated occurrence, but rather a component of a wider hip-hop business conspiracy involving powerful individuals. There have been conjectures by some fans and observers that his death was related to rivalries and power struggles in the scene, with claims that prominent musicians, possibly including Jay Z, may have contributed to the pandemonium surrounding his premature demise. Such claims have grave ramifications as they raise the possibility that there is a violent and manipulative culture hidden behind the surface of hip hop celebrity. Big L's case remains unresolved, which heightens the mystery, feeds conspiracy theories, and casts doubt on the reputations of individuals who were there at the scene. The storyline surrounding Big L's demise and his possible connections to Jay-Z prompts more general inquiries about treachery, loyalty, and the extent people in the business would go to in order to safeguard their interests. Jaguar Wright challenges the idea that success is always based on skill and hard effort by continuing to speak out about her experiences and drawing attention to the complexity and risks present in the hip-hop industry. Hip-hop culture is complex, with relationships between musicians, their personal lives, and the less positive aspects of the business all continuing to fall apart. 